Hey you guys, welcome to Design Home Daily Review, and I've got the daily for you and a tip for the day, so let's get started. Today's daily challenge is an East Coast R&R. Style a coastal living room for this romantic beach rental in Rohiboth Beach, Delaware. I love me some coastals. Well, let's check out the price. Well, okay. <laughs> Um, Cynthia Riley Sheridan two door. Yeah, all I know is it's green. But listen, here is my theory, and you know they call me the design home hoarder. Okay, because I don't believe in these so-called dump rooms. I don't do it. I don't participate in those. I keep everything because everything has a place in a design somewhere. You may have to hang on to it for a while, but eventually there's going to be a challenge and you're going to go, oh, that Cynthia Riley green thing with the gold handles. Yeah, perfect for this one right here. Let's see what the room looks like. And this is why I love coastals. Just look at the scenery. Oh, it has the ocean out here. I love these, you guys. And this is going to be your typical coastal. We've got a couch over here, a couple of chairs, small table, coffee table, a little ottoman over here, a little stool here. And then outside, we have a little lounge chair, place for the plant and a little floor lamp. So yeah, very, very cute. I did notice some problems with this little picture over on this side. You know, it depending on which one you chose, it kind of went off the page. But anyways, well, let's see who the admin picks of the day are. This is Maria's, and oh my goodness, I love the wood in here. This is adorable. I can see why yours was picked, girl. I love it. How cute. And you know, turquoise is a hot item with the voters. This is adorable, girl. Great job. This is Shannon's, and oh, I love your little pops of color in here. This is adorable. I love the little gray coffee table as well. And then you have this little matching coastal side table. Very, very nicely done. And you know how I feel about these little outline furnitures. Great job, girl. This is Sheila's, and she made the thumbnail today. Congratulations, Sheila. I love your coastal. This is so cute. I love your choice of furniture here, girl. These little blue chairs just really set it off. And then this little blue lamp over here. Oh, it just looks great, girl. I love it. This is Lisa's. And oh my goodness, look at this coffee table. You guys, we have a lot of new furniture. These chairs are new as well. They've, uh, I think we got them like a couple of weeks ago. Maybe not even that. So you need to check out the new inventory on the game and see some of these little items, you know. Some of them might be reasonably priced. You can put them in your inventory, but this right here is just adorable. And I love your rug choice, girl. This all goes together very nicely. Great job. And the final pick today is Kim's, Miss Smooth herself. And you can tell why she has that name, you guys. Everything just goes together and it just looks so smooth. I love your rug choice. I love this little wood furniture that you have in here. It matches the little lounge chair outside. Girl, this all looks just fabulous. Great job. I love it. And now for Bandejo's tip of the day. Today's tip is going to be about scoring, overall scores. We're going to use our group as the example. So Krista has a 4.77 overall score. Congratulations, girl. You're moving up again. And what that means is that her overall average from day one when she started playing Design Home it averages all of her particular challenges up until this final score right now. Of course, everybody knows this fluctuates. Tip number one, why does it fluctuate so often? Because most of us are doing, what, four or five designs a day? Okay, so it's constantly averaging in 
those scores. If you get like three fives, then you keep moving up, but then you get one bad score. <laughs> and I'm talking like, sometimes it'll pop up like a three, you know, six or something like that. That is going to move you way down. So then you're basically starting the ladder again, okay? And so that's why it fluctuates, is the more you do in a day, daily challenges, well, not just the daily challenges, but more you do in one day's time, then the more your score will be changing. Okay, so how do you remain at a higher level then? Well, like for, for instance, right now, Krista could stay at 477 if she just didn't turn on the app. If she just did not go in to check her scores, it doesn't matter whatever else she's done, she will remain at this 477 if she does not check her score, period. Now, she could have been, like right now it shows that she's number 11, okay? So she could have been down here at like 30 or something, and then she did a challenge, the scoring came in on that challenge, and she got a 5.0, and that moved her on up to the 11th spot. Now, she wouldn't have moved up here until she checked her score. She would have remained down here at 30 whatever that she was before. You understand? So it really all starts moving along in this entire game when somebody goes to check their score. And that's it. That's why someone, let's say Krista was at the number one position up here, and everybody was cheering, yay, Krista's number one. And then, you know, we went to the app like an hour later. A challenge hadn't come in yet, okay? But we went and checked it an hour later, and lo and behold, she was number two, and somebody else was in the first spot. Have you seen that happen? Okay, what happened was the person who moved into the number one spot had just checked their score. You see what I'm saying? So it's constantly fluctuating. If you can catch it when you're up high like this, you know, that's why I was saying the other day on the page, do a snapshot of that. You know, I would like to keep track of all of this. It's, it's great. We have a lot of people in our group that frequent the top 100 quite often and um, a handful that are always in the top 10. So anyways, that is for your tip of the day. I have one other else I'd like to show you. Okay, here's the last thing. Some of y'all have wondered what I mean whenever I say, well, she's got a 5.0 or she's got a 4.8 in the hole, a 5.0 in the hole that she doesn't know about yet. This is what I was talking about. So let's just take Shelly for instance. Okay, so here is her overall score. I can go in by clicking her picture here because we're friends on Facebook. So I can click on her picture here, excuse me, and it'll take me into her page and I can see what her scores are. In the last challenge, I can see what the score is right here. She hasn't checked it yet. How do I know this? Because if you click on this right here, it'll give you a screen, like this one right here, it'll give you a screen that looks like this, awaiting results. So that means that she has not checked her score, but yet I can still see it. That's one of the new changes with Design Home, okay? So I just thought that maybe some of y'all would uh, like to know that little bit of information there and uh, here's something too okay so this person she's not on in our group that I'm aware of but she's down at uh, she's got a 477 I can't remember which spot she was in but let's just say she was in 10th place or something and she got a 476 which is basically at 477 her score overall score is not going to change it's going to remain at a 477. It's not gonna go down, it's not gonna go up. When she got a 489, may have been the same. Let's say she may have gotten one point. The closer you get to 4.80, the less points you receive for a 5.0, okay? 
And I'm going to go over all of that in the other video that will be coming out about scoring. You'll get a wealth of information in reference to that. Uh, one other thing I wanted to say is that Shayna Shipley is in our group, and she is ranked 84th right now. Congratulations, Shayna. Also, Maria, she is ranked number 46 right now with a 472. Congratulations. And then we've got Karen, and she is ranked number 34 with a 4.73. And then, of course, we have our big queen of the day, Krista, and she's at a 474. Now, we've got a new person, Rachel Ann. She frequents the top five, I've noticed, and we want to welcome her to our group. Welcome aboard, Rachel. We're just happy to have you. And let's see if there's anybody else. That's it. All right, you guys. I'll be back with some more for you tomorrow. I hope you like this tip of the day. If you have any suggestions, please let me know. We want to welcome all of our new members to the group. We're just glad to have you. And, yep, that's it. We'll see you tomorrow. Talk to you soon. Bye now.